Okay, so I'm gonna use my mascara brush to brush my brow. It's just like what I like to do. Brown brow pencil. And I'm just gonna stroke the pencil up and over. Just the way my brow naturally is formed. Now I'm gonna go over with the black pencil very lightly. Just because I want to create a natural color, the natural color of my brow, which is a darker brow, not quite brown, not quite black in between. So very lightly I'm going to take the black from the top of the brown. Now with my angle brush, I'm going to smudge, I'm just going to smudge the, the liner in. I'm just going to give my eyebrows a natural look, they're not going to look worn on. Now I'm going to apply my foundation. I'm using the sponges, the Rosa sponges, just because I like them. Um, I try to use the brushes. I don't like them, but maybe I haven't found a brush that I like yet. But right now I'm using the sponges. I like them. I get a good, even tone applying my foundation. The foundation that I'm using is L'Oreal 2 Matte C7. The reason why I'm doing the voiceover is because my kids were in the background making all this noise. So that's why I'm doing the voiceover on this tutorial. Um, let me guys know if you don't like voiceover. You know, want want me to talk as I'm doing it. I I will do it. Let me know. Now with my e.l.f. eye primer, I'm going to, I'm applying my primer to my eyes, and I'm going to blend it in using the foundation brush. Huh. I know I don't like it for my foundation, but I do like it to blend in on my eyes, so that's what I'm doing here. Now while I let that set, I'm going to go in with my concealer. I'm using Lancome's under eye concealer, and I'm going to get under my chin. Um, that is a problem area for me. I have hair that grows down there, so I was plucking it for a long time, and it left marks. So I finally stopped plucking, I started waxing. I have a video on that. I will leave the video link in the description box below. So I'm going to work that in. I'm going to use my fingers. I like using my fingers. Then I'm going to get, cover any unwanted hair, um, or blemishes, frown lines, under my eyes. I'm going to do all of that with this one concealer. And I absolutely love this concealer. It is like the best. I will not use any other brand. I will spend the $28 on that small little tube, but it's so worth it. There's my brown line. I'm trying to cover up. I guess I frown a lot. And using my blending sponge, I'm gonna blend the concealer into the foundation. Just so it's nice and clean and I have an even skin tone glow. Uh, someone all someone at my job tells me I'm glowing all the time. I guess it's the the, the makeup together. I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
Now with an angle brush and a and concealer, I'm going to go in and clean up my brows. Now I do not know what brush is what. I just know what works for me and that's how I do. But that is an angle brush and I'm going to clean up my brows with my concealer, making sure I'm blending as I go. Go over the top and then I'll go over the bottom. Now with the, the same sponge, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to blend that concealer, make sure there's no lines. Now this is, I'm going back in under my brow with my primer, just to clean it up a little bit more. Now with my NYX 78 color palette. My mama gave me. I'm gonna go in and color those eyes using a shimmering highlighting color. And go in and highlight the, the underneath my brow. Now under that color, I have a color that's a matte color and it's a little bit darker. I'm going to go and blend it into the previous color. And a lot of times what I like to do is I blow, the, after I put the shadow on the brush, I blow it to get the excess shadow off. I don't tap it. I know some people tap it, but I blow it. And I'm switching brushes. The color that I'm putting on now is kind of like a sun-kissed bronzy color. I'm going to put that over the whole entire body. With my toothbrush, I believe that's what it is. I'm going to go in and I'm just directing some of the kind of toothbrush. Let me know. I'm going in with like a charcoal color. It's a light charcoal color. It's not very dark. And it's um, shimmering. I'm going in to crease and on the outer layer. Give me that butter browsing. what I like to call it. And I'm going to use my candy and Lancome black eyeliner. And I'm not going all the way over to the inner part of my eye. Um, a lot of times it bothers me with the liner if I go all the way over. So I don't go completely over. Now with my angled brush, thin one, I'm going to go in and line the top of my lid. I wet the brush first. And then I use I shadow powder to line the, the top of my lid. Only because I don't like the the gel or the liquid. Um, I feel like I have more control this way.
And this is my favorite, favorite, favorite mascara by Lancome, the Lancome Elixir. Um, it's awesome. Uh, I will, this is another thing that another brand, not brand, but product of theirs that I'm sticking with. Um, it's the only one I will use. It's great. It's, it's just absolutely great. I'm going in, doing my mascara. I'm going to do a little thin pointy brush and go in and highlight the inside of my eyes. Right in there, the little diamond shape. Let my eyes pop a little bit. I'm using a, sil a silver shimmer to do that. And this is Lancome Natural Blonder Glow. And then I'm going to finish my face off with. And I don't know, for some reason I like putting that on before I put my pop, my blush on because it kind of takes away from my brush a little bit. So uh, I do put this on before I put the brush on. And the blush I'm using is by LA Colors. It's a, a natural looking brush. You can tell it's there, but you can't tell it's there. Now, I don't do any contouring or highlighting only because this is my everyday routine and I don't have time to do all of that on um, my everyday routine. This is what I do every day. Uh, but of course, the eyeshadow changes to everything else. It's like, I might get up and go and look. Now with the L matte color lip, it's the nude. Uh, this is the color that I absolutely love the love nude. Uh, they just look good on me. I think they match my skin tone very well. And they complement me. So this is nude. Sometimes I add color in, but I'll add color into the nude so that it's pale. And I moisturize my lips with the EO Paul prior to this. Now with my liner, it is a brownish red liner. I am going to line my lips after the fact that that's just how I do. Very light, so that it's natural. So this is it. This is my everyday routine. I hope you like it. Please rate, comment, let me know if you like it, if you do it, and subscribe, and have a blessed day.